Alright, so today I have a speed comparison. It is between the uh, iPod Touch 2G and iPod Touch 5G, which may be like, well, this is stupid. But it's uh, the iPod Touch 2G with white door iOS 7, which um, isn't actually iOS 7. And as I show you the speed test, I'm also going to be showing you some bugs in it and explaining that first off, it's technically not iOS 7, but it really is iOS 7. By not being iOS 7, I mean it's identified as iOS 3.1.3, but as you can see, iPod Touch 2G sure looks like iOS 7. And the deciding factor right here, control center. Um, and I can show you guys how to do this. If I can get 10 likes on this video, or 10 likes, or as simple uh, as a few comments, uh, by a few comments I mean three, literally a few. Um, I'll go ahead and make a video on how to get White Door iOS 7 um, on your iPod Touch 2G. But uh, let's get into the speed test. So um, first I'm just going to do a shutdown speed, which um, will be kind of hard, but which um, I'm just going to hold down the power buttons. Kind of awkward because one's on the left and one's on the right. And then just slide the power off and let's see if I can get these at the same time. No. No. As you can see, the iPod Touch 2G screen is not near as uh, sensitive, but as you can see, way later, and it just pounded the iPod Touch 5G in the shutdown test. Which really isn't that important, but um, it's still cool to see that the iPod Touch 2G did do it a lot faster. But uh, let's go ahead and turn them back on. So I can get both buttons here. Didn't hold them long enough. There we go. And I think the iPod Touch 2G uh, Apple logo did come a tad bit faster. But we'll see which one actually gets um, done faster. See if the uh, iPod Touch 2G iOS 7 can keep it up. I'm only doing stock apps, no uh, uh, App Store apps, and the iPod Touch 2G just chimed in with another victory. Uh, because the App Store apps, I'm going to be honest, you can't get iOS 3.1.3 apps very easily. And I'll show you another reason why I don't do it, because it's kind of a pain to get them, to be honest. But uh, they're both uh, started up here. So unlock this one, and unlock this one, and um, I showed you control center, uh, notification center, a no-go on here, um, app switcher, does have the cards just like this, but you will notice, as I'll show you here in a second, another little bug here, I do not know how to close these apps. You can't, there's no sliding up on this. It's just a no-go. It just opens it up. I don't want to open it up. And this is obviously just an easy slide away. But uh, that's just one problem. But problem number two and uh, speed test that I'll show you where the uh, iPod Touch 5G really is going to pull away. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the App Store on both. And this one obviously... As you can see, it didn't take me directly to the App Store. It takes me to the App Market, and that's a pain. But I can slide over. You do have to be careful because, like you saw, I just opened that up. And you can go to the default App Store or other, which is Cydia and uh, I like a Time Machine type app thing. has some apps that actually work on this thing. And there's that. It loaded up pretty good, actually. But as you see, watch. As I scroll through here, it's just a pain to go through. And most things aren't even going to work. Um, if I go to free, um, let's try to get this. If this worked, I just uh, it'd be crazy. I already know it's not going to work for two reasons. First off, a pain right here.
Um, as you can see, it's just a pain to get apps on this. Um, I'll be honest, and I'm 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 just not even gonna. All right, here we go. I'll give it one shot. Install. I'm not even signed in, so I don't even think it'll work. App requires iOS 4.3, so that's a no go. So go ahead and just get out of here, and I'll go show you guys something else. So uh, I think just based on that, the uh, iPod Touch 5G wins this. But uh, as you can see, the startups and shutdown was better. But uh, let's go ahead and try to open up the calculator at the same time. Missed it. But uh, obviously, both pretty much, it's the default app. It's fine. Works good, just like it should. Um, let's try to do a settings open. Let's open settings at the same time. Not actually too slow of a difference. Uh, but as you can see, iOS 3 over here, and it really doesn't have all the settings that this has. It's really limited. Um, but I mean, you can get into some white door settings. Um, and I think that's pretty much all we're going to load up. I mean, if I open up the music, it looks like the music app. I guess I can't do anything. It looks like the old music app. What I really was going to say. Weather, let's see what the weather looks like. Weather hasn't been changed a whole lot. But I mean, it's iOS 7. It's cool. If you guys want to see how to do this, like and leave a comment and subscribe. And as you can see, the uh, iPod 2G takes the uh, boot up and uh, shut down. But when it comes to loading stuff and installing apps, and the overall iOS 7 experience, obviously, the iPod Touch 5G uh, won. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe.